My name is Christian Kern. Um, my experience in Schematis was a very new one for me, personally. Um, it started off quite rocky, um, but eventually I got to meet new people, make new friends, um, and hopefully those friendships will last a lifetime. Um, yeah, uh, my thoughts on the lockdown. Uh, it's the lockdown, nothing we can do, uh, just stay strong, uh, work hard, um, and yeah, keep grinding man, keep grinding, uh, work don't stop, grind don't stop, yeah, um, I'm, I'm excited to go home, um, uh, happy to see my mom, some, some friends at home, uh, my girlfriend obviously, uh, so like, yeah, that's, that's it. Alright, so thank you so much, Ken. Um, I'm Kyle Danson, I'm from the Western Cape. Uh, the program so far so good for me. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, just like the new thing, like new stuff I learned, like, yeah, no, we didn't work much in groups, mm -hmm. but just trying to adapt to it, just getting into a group, discussing things, mm -hmm. so I like that a lot, mm -hmm. and just trying to see how other people see things mm -hmm. and stuff, other people inside and stuff, how they understand the stuff, mm -hmm. and also, yeah, it is meeting new people, meeting mm -hmm. different cultures and stuff, okay. making new friends, okay. some of them not short term but also maybe long term friends Claire and Sanati. <laughs> it's nice working with Sanati even though you make a lot of jokes and stuff like that a lot about Sanati. Um, just having you around us, we love that sir. Your presence means a lot to us sir. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, so how are you feeling now that you're going home for this lockdown? Um, I feel, I would say, it's kind of excited just okay. to see my parents and stuff, mm -hmm. seeing some friends back from home, some old friends and stuff, okay. just trying to catch up. Okay, okay. so you are ready if for online learning? Online learning. Will you be prepared? I would say, yeah. Okay. I would say 50-50. 50-50? 50-50. Okay. Uh, so I'm Carl van der and so far the experience at Schematis has been a great one. I've learned a lot here and um, gained better understanding of all the things that I am studying and learning here. And this um, interruption of COVID is a rude awakening and it's not really um, a fun experience but we have to deal with it and take it as it comes so uh, yeah I hope that it doesn't last very long and that we can come back soon so yeah that's my feelings about this um, okay my experience as Kimatus so far this year has been pretty interesting um, in the beginning I was really a bit nervous because I didn't know what to expect but at the same time I was pretty excited you know, to get this opportunity and do something that I really need to do. Um, I think that throughout this year up until now I really learned a lot you know from everybody in schematics, especially my, my facilitators they really try to you know improve the way we think, change the way we think actually you know, become more critical thinkers than just people who memorize things or just do things without understanding. Um, I think that they're really doing a good job with that. And I really, I realized throughout my time that I've become more of a critical thinker than I was last year this time. And I'm really happy about that because I feel that is a important skill in my life. Um, my time with Kimatas was actually really fun. Um, even though with social distancing and COVID is the update, but it was really fun because I met a lot of new people, people that I hope 
academic world for many years to come people that I hope one day will be with me in the workforce or anything like that. I'm really happy about that. I think I learned a lot from all of them. You know, um, seeing the things that they do, I learn from them and I think hopefully I'll teach them a few things that I learned in my life. You know, because we all come from different backgrounds. And I think that's the thing I like the most about schematics. That not everybody's from the same place, everybody's from different parts of the country. Different things to learn from them, different things to see from them. So it's really good to learn different things and learn from different perspectives and see different things. So yes, that's one of the best things I think about schematics. And that's basically all, all I have to say about my time. So how do you feel about going home? I feel a bit, a bit sad, so. but okay, at the why? same time, because it's, it's, I really enjoy my time here. Is it? It was, it was fun. I have friends that I can talk to. Yeah. At home, it's just me and my brother, my mother and my father. Obviously, you know. But you will we'll video call us, we'll video call. I get bored of them after a while, so. Yeah, like, you're going to video call the section, right? I don't know. Good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Wanda Mapola. I'm from Centurion, Gauteng. Yeah, so Schematis, it started on the 15th of March. First day of Schematis was on the 15th of March, and today is the 28th of June, so it was well, at least three months and a week ago. So, honestly, Schematis has been, it has been, can I say a bumpy ride honestly because at first it felt like high school at first it felt like high school and it felt like I had 10 subjects but I actually had four so it was a bit stressful but after a while after a few weeks I got the hang of it and everything just went smooth Everything just went smooth. So yesterday we were told that, well, yesterday the president made the address that we've got until uh, Wednesday to close schools. Hmm. Honestly, I was excited. I still am. Still am excited to go home, of course. I was going to go home next week, but home is where the heart is. So I'm excited to leave, just go home, and just rest, forget about school. Even my physics lecturer, Dr. Lawrence, said they should forget about school for at least a week or two, and just rest. So that's what, I'm inten that's what I intend on doing, just resting for these two weeks. Uh, yeah. For the next two weeks, I'll be resting. That's schematis. Okay, hi guys, um, my name is Carl Adams. This program really felt like it helped me because I didn't know there was that much of the grade 10, 11, 12 syllabus that I didn't know, but I understand where I lost all my marks last year. I feel like by the end of the year I'll do way better on my my exams and hopefully I'll get into the course I wanted to. I really feel like okay. uh, what was it? Yeah, I really feel like if we didn't get this lockdown I would I prefer writing the exams because I really want to see my improvement in my marks. And I feel like now I don't know. It's just, you know, after I write the end of the year. But yeah, I needed the rest and I think it's a blessing in disguise. Hello guys, my name is my name is Ronald Mishupa. I'm from the Grand Cape. My experience here in Stellenbosch on the program of schematics was really good, I would say. And I just hope that I can get another chance 
you know, just to fully develop myself mentally. So, um, I've learned a lot here in Skimwaters. You know, I, I got exposed to different um, scenarios, you know, learning styles. You know, back in grade 12, you know, in grade 12, when I was in grade 12, this, the teaching styles that we were exposed to are different to what I am experiencing now. Because now I have to do everything for myself. I have to write my own notes, which is, I find it more... Um, You know, it just it is more exposing because if I if I have to write my own notes if I don't understand the term I have to you know find a way to understand it Google you know just to find an easier meaning for it and unfortunately due to COVID we have to return back to our homes. To me, I would say at first a bit alcohol because me being here in Stanford for almost three months, I'm so used to this place here. So going home will be another situation whereby I don't know how will I find it, but to me it seems like it will be a bit awkward. But then, mm, Matters is really, really good. You know, I am. Um, it gave me a chance, a second chance to fix my mistakes, to right my wrongs that I did, and I'm really grateful for that. And here in Dress, I've met very great people. You know, I never had. I never had an experience where I'm exposed to variety of people, even more people than here. Because now here we are all mixed, we come from different homes, which is good because we get to learn more about each other, which is really good. You know, and Yes, that's all. Hey, <laughs> hello, I'm Timon Fredericks. Yeah, the program is very well. I learned very, very much. I learned a lot. And I learned a lot about myself as well. Yeah, and I don't feel like about going home. Really, it's not nice. Yeah. I prepared very well for this exam and mm -hmm. yeah, but let's hope for the best. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my name is Nero, and this matters program is one. Uh, it's one of the uh, program that is well known. Um, I have learned a lot of things. I have learned that uh, in life, we are give, uh, given a second chance, and this was this was my second chance to improve my my medicine science. Uh, the the environment was quite well. Uh, the people was very well done. They are very kind, loving and caring. They showed us love. Uh, our main promise to our team is very kind and missing no me. And the other mentors are very kind. Yeah, I have learned a lot of things. And I am quite sure that if it wasn't for this COVID, I was going to improve my marks very well. And 
been playing soccer here and I've seen that I can do more. Just that I have to have self-confidence and stay positive. And uh, I have to overcome my problems so that I can succeed. Yeah. If it wasn't for this schematics program, I wouldn't know that in life there are second chances. This was my chance to improve my medicine science. Um, and I'm sure that when I come back from home, I'll do more than I did. Yeah, I will do more than I did yesterday. Um, I'm happy, but I'm not happy because I thought I was going to I was going to write my story, but unfortunately I didn't write because of uh, due to COVID-19. But on the other side, I'm happy because I'm going home. I've been missing my mom, my friends, and my father, my brother, my sisters, and my niece, and my nephews. Yeah. I'm doing good. And I hope things will go just right for me till the end. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Reino Titalame. I'm from the band. And like when I first came to Schematas, right? I really didn't know what to expect. But yeah, obviously as time went on, I made a lot of friends in Schematas. Um, of course, I knew what I was here to do, maths, physics. And also what was new to me was the two other subjects, which is, which is academic lit and computer literacy. They didn't tell us about that, but we, we found out when we came to Schematis, yeah. I wouldn't say that Schematis is very hard. I mean, we have time to have fun. We learn a lot. And also, like, uh, Schematis is very, I would say, Schematis, can I say? Yeah, Schematis is an effective program because at the moment I understand like work I did last year better than, than I did. So yeah, and like everyone said that came to Schematis, it's not about math and physics and what, it's also you can, you, you, you do a lot, you have fun, you get time to have fun and take care of yourself and so on. And also, yeah, about this whole thing that's happening now. We are going into lockdown and our exams are postponed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm, I'm really not happy about the exams that was, that's postponed now because I was actually ready to write maths tomorrow and now it's postponed. I don't know when we'll come back here. And also, I'm, I'm quite glad I'm going home because I, I do miss home. It's been a long time since I, since I was I think I went home once so yeah I don't really know how to feel about this whole thing because I have mixed feelings about this and um, yeah I think that's not actually a lot because I have only been in Schematis for a few weeks that's all I can say about it and also yeah let's talk about the 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 Individually, uh, I mean the the, the, the the people in Schemat is like people at Rosenhof, for instance, our mentors, this is not a very friendly people, and and then we, yeah, I made a lot of friends now. And Simadis, I almost feel like Simadis is my home now, so yeah. And here I get to leave. So that's actually it. Thank you all. Hi guys, my name is Kasutika. No, Kavan. That's my second name. So, ever since I came here, like, I had a. What can I say this? 
a different pers- perspective in life. The way I look at life now is different. It's survival of the fittest. In the jungle, if you don't eat, you get eaten. You get me. I'm not the one who like who, who likes to express himself or do any of that, but. Since I came here in Skimatas, I have found maids that make me, that make it possible like to express myself, to speak, because I've always been the quiet type, you get me. So my experiences so far, academically, they've been great. I've changed with the way I've been studying. I've changed the way I do things, but I've stayed internally. I think I stay the same. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if you guys feel the same or there's no difference that this program is not done to you something like that but now now that I'm going home I don't know how to feel like I've been home I've been home like I haven't been home for months now and I can't see it I don't miss it but <laughs> I can't say but I can't say that I don't wanna leave here but I have to leave after all. Yeah that's it. Catch ya guys. I will uh, <laughs> Okay, um my name is Kamuhelo Um everyone in the residence calls me Kamu. Yeah, everyone calls me Kamu. Um, when I came here, um, me coming here was just a rush. Like, it wasn't planned. Um, tell you something. When I was called um, and told that I have to come to Stellenbosch, um, that day I was coming from a soccer practice and I had just certified my stuff, my matrix certificate, my ID, and I was like, okay, now I'm going to my school principal and I'm going to tell him that I want to rewrite. But then, after soccer practice, you can imagine, I was just tired, uh, drained, and this thing of getting rejected by universities, it had just drained me and I was just there. Like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to take life as it comes and now I'm going to rewrite my metric. But then Sisnoni called me and told me that Okay, I'm accepted in Schematos. And I was like, what is Schematos? And then I remember that, okay, it's that program that I applied at that is at Stellenbosch. Um, yeah, and I was called three days before the, the thing, before I had to come to Stellenbosch. And so you can just imagine, I had to prepare to come to Stellenbosch, start a new life, like leave everything and everyone just like that, all of a sudden. But then I made it to Stellenbosch. I came here and then everything just worked out. I don't know how, but everything just worked out. Uh, started um, settling into Stellenbosch, met new people. Yeah. And actually, last year when I wanted to apply, I wanted to go to an, a place that, like, where I don't know anybody so that I can start afresh or something like that. Um, so yeah, I ended up in Stellenbosch and then here I am. Well, it's been quite a journey, met new people, made a new life for myself and yeah. And I must say that, I must start with my roommate though, yeah, one day is a wonderful guy. Uh, we had that relationship like, okay, you my bro, I got your back, you got my back, okay, yeah. If I see something, if I see that you need help, even though you might not ask me, but I'm going to do it for you. Like, yeah, that kind of relationship. And then 
in the residence, we were just brothers. Our, in, especially in our section, we were just brothers. Yeah, we friends and brothers at the same time. Everybody got the other person's back, things like that. And my academics have been going really well, though. But the problem is with physics. Remember, I'm still with that mentality that oh, I fail, bro, because um, last year. Actually, most of my life, I was that kid that was like overrated or something like that. Everybody believed in me. They just saw the greatness in me. And I was just like, okay, well, what is it that people see in me that I can't see myself? And I was just chilled. Like, okay, I have this. I already passed my trick, so I'm just going to relax. So I relaxed a bit too much, I guess. That's how I ended up in Schematos. And yeah. But coming here, I just had a tough time with physics because previously I had a, not actually a bad relationship with my physics teacher, but okay. Physics was the one that was giving me a tough time or something like that. Um, but... It was just something that I can deal with, but uh, maybe next term I'll get over it. Uh, and this thing of going home, it just came as a sudden change. Remember, um, like 20 hours ago, I was like looking forward to the exams. I was supposed to be writing mass today, and today I'll be pre preparing for academic literacy tomorrow, but everything just changed, just like that. Last night, when I went to sleep, Wanda was on the other side, we were playing music and we were chatting and then tonight he's just not there and I'll be alone in the room, it's just too much. I just can't uh, understand it, it's just a sudden change but I guess we have to live with it, life can change in a moment so we have to be able to adapt, ready to adapt. And yeah, I just hope Sisnoni gives me a chance next term to play for Poland College so that um, maybe I might get a chance to start a career in football or something like that because I might find opportunities here. I'm close to opportunities. So yeah, thank you. Um, I'm Yulisa Kaka, I'm from the Eastern Cape uh, and rural areas. So, yeah, okay. Um, last year, um, yeah, I was doing my matric in 2020 and then, yeah, what happened happened and then, yeah, we had to close just like now, just like now we're closing and then after closing, um, yeah, we had to do our uh, e-learning which was something um, I was not familiar with uh, didn't have the gadgets to access internet yeah it was just all for me so yeah it happened that um, I didn't pass um, my metric the way I wanted to and then yeah I ended up applying for schematics which was never pa uh, part of my plans but yeah yeah, so I got to Schematos and then I remember the first day I received um, a call telling me that I got accepted in Schematos. I was so excited because for me it felt like uh, it's a second chance for me to, to prove myself because I know that, that like the marks that I got is not the marks that I deserve, it's not what I'm capable of. So being accepted in Schematos for me was, it was like, yo, brah. It was it was extremely good. It was felt like an achievement. That's the first time I got excited about anything after I got my results. So yeah, and then when I got here, um, yeah, I was kind of nervous because you know, someone like me from rural areas, you know, having to be, um, you know, in in a new environment where you know there are different people. Like there's a lot of diversity here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, my experience with Schematos has been good academically, socially, 
um, yeah, it has been good because, um, you know, last year the things I thought I knew very well and then when I got here, I just realized that I honestly knew little and yeah, because you know, we have amazing facilitators who actually make things easy for us and yeah, I mean, like the independent, the, the, the independence they teach me, you know, to be an independent student, student, to be able to do things on my own, to not depend much on my teachers and stuff like that. It's a, it's a lot and it's working quite good because now I understand my work much better than I did. And yeah, like academically, I think I'm doing good because I've been getting, you know, A's ever since we I came here, like the test that I've been writing, yeah. It's been good, yeah. So now that um, we we have uh, a lockdown level four, so we have to go home, and we we, we were able to write an a MS test today, but then yeah, what happened happened. We just told that we have to go home. I feel like because yeah, I mean it's gonna affect us, but I'll try to make sure that it doesn't affect me. Though it's not gonna be easy, you know, because here it's a different thing. We have this study environment, like it's, it's just a healthy environment for students. And then I have to go home, there'll be chores, like there'll be a lot of distractions. But yeah, I'll do my best though. I, I don't feel good about it. I hope after some time we'll get back, just like we planned that we're going to be back. Because if we're not good, if we will not come back on time, it will affect us a lot because some of us won't even be able to access the internet even if we do get data, but the network won't be good for, for us. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know, like, not just not here. Let me just leave. Uh, when I first arrived here, we were a group of four from Tawazimbe. It was me, my friend, and the other two girls from the other neighboring school in our community. Uh, mm, it was too hard for me. It was too hard for me in the way that it was the first time me and my friend were separated. We have been all together in each in, in, in one room in the during the camps. We have been in the same class. We've been friends for so long. So that made me learn something new that you shouldn't depend on one person for the rest of your life. You should learn to make friends and learn to talk to new people. I learned that you shouldn't judge the person by just looking at him. You should first know the person and be able to distinguish whether he can be trusted or not. I can academically, we started going to school it was hard. It was hard to change the way I learned at high school. But forcefully, and forcefully, we had to, because there is no way in which I could improve if I still used the previous method that I used when I was learning in high school. Or else I knew that that method didn't work last year. So I had to adopt the new method of learning. Yeah, when comparing my last year's work and this year's work, I can see there is an improvement. And the other thing that led to an improvement is that there is a competition. There are people who are really good. So when comparing myself, with, when comparing my previous maths with theirs, I can see that I'm still lacking. So I have to do to work harder and harder until I get used until I get to their level. 
yeah that's all that i can say i've improved academically uh, emotionally physically and i've improved myself in many things so hello guys my name is cindy lenonginzi i'm from the eastern cape i arrived in the Schematos program in March and it has been a very 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 good experience. I got to learn what I do not know and what I need to improve on regarding my mathematics and my physical science subjects and being in this program it has been an inspiration to me because we are surrounded basically by a lot of inspiration like being taught by people who are doctors, um, professors, like a math teacher, and being surrounded by people like our mentors, like, wow. It's not very often that you hear someone that is young and still growing as a person become a mentor to other people. It's very rare and it's been quite a great experience. And, currently very happy and right now we are going home because of the lockdown restrictions but I am kind of nonchalant towards it because that's me that's how I am but it's something that we already have been through like last year we know it now we know what to do and yeah man we're gonna keep going if it's online it's gonna be online all good we're all good all good Thank you guys. Greetings. Um, my name is Sefiso Matebesi. Um, and my journey um, with Schemat has been quite an interesting one, actually. Um, you know, meeting new people, um, getting to know Stellan Bosch as a whole, right? Um, also, um, it's quite a chilled place, you know. And um, yeah, I've made quite a few acquaintances um, and I've learned a lot um, um, throughout um, the year so far. Um, and you know, um, until now, um, of the lockdown and everything, um, it's quite a hectic change to be honest. Um, you know, and like Charles Darwin said, he said, it's not the strongest species nor the intelligent ones that survives but the one that's most adaptable to change that survives, right? So basically what I'm trying to do is adapt to change, right? And yeah, that's, that's all. That's all I gotta say for today. Hello, my name is Pakiso and my surname is Chanko. Uh, I'm a schemata student. I'm just a kid just like any other kid who came here with a dream. Yeah, wanted to do something greater than what they had in the previous year. But then, yeah, it is a challenge. It's very good because you get to experience much greater than what you've seen before. Some, something greater. It's not like what you heard before. This thing is way much deeper, which is good because it helps you. It motivates you. Makes you want to get it. Get much greater and greater than what you heard. And that's what's motivating me to want more, more than I had, more than I'll ever get, just more. Yeah, but they, enough about me. Let me see, let me tell a story. Yeah, I was just a regular kid, yeah, with a big dream. But then came the COVID. But then I can't say it disturbed me. 
because I was part of the disturbance. I was killing myself, not doing what was right. I can't blame the COVID. But then it's me and I take responsibility, but then it was wrapped back in the days. Yeah. Then I had to do what was good. I had to bring all my best, but then I couldn't. Yeah, it was never enough. Then I had to come come to the ski matters. Yeah. It was good. Very, very good. Yeah. I think God had all of this plan for me to come here. Yeah. See what it, what the world has for me. Yeah. This is good because the education level is too much great. And that's motivating. That's motivating much deeper. And that helps each and every child out there to believe much, much more and want what they want. But then you got to start from the bottom to build it. That's the whole thing. It's the foundation. If you have it right, then everything gonna be lit. It gonna be okay. So you just gotta do it right. Follow the rules, apply the principles. Yeah. But then we all have flaws. So it's time to experience all your flaws. Put them all, all out there, expose them. Then you'll know about them. Then you'll be you'll be trying to reach out for perfection, your own perfection. Each and every individual reaching for their perfection, which is good. It motivates their... Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was deep, I guess. Yeah, but then, yeah, it's great. Now it is normal school, but then, yeah. You know, that, that it doesn't mean that when there's normal school, there's no more school. Nah, it's always cool. Always cool. So yeah, just gotta go home. Yeah, try to figure it out. Relax, clear my mind. Recharge. Yeah, and be me. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Wendy Nopardi. Common known as the wonderful guy. I'm a former student, I'm a student of Schematus um, 2021 and then I come from Katu, Northern Cape, but originally from Bluefontein. People know me as the wonderful guy because I'm normally just wonderful, you know, just wonderful, I'm known for wonderful things. And then um, the Schematus program has helped me a lot, uh, it made me realize that hard work and determination will actually lead you to success in your career. Or life. The facilitators, which in high school we know them as teachers, we deal facilitators, they were very welcoming, they are very ex excellent, and then they know their work. And then I'm very blessed to have them as part of my learning journey, being part of my learning journey. Schematics gave me hope when I had none because it made me realize that there is a second chance that's going to help students like us also show their potential in the world. So my biggest highlight I was telling was that uh, the environment is just friendly, eco-friendly, and then people are friendly, welcoming. I build many friendships and relationships normally because I'm just wonderful towards people. And then me going home, I'm actually excited because I get to see my family again. It's been four months now. I miss my mom, most important person in my life, and then my little sister, of course, and my dad. So I'm glad to be part of the Schematus program, and then I'm glad to also have. Great friendships which I have built and which I wish it will like continue and not dissolve in the future. I'm 
Hi everyone, I'm Tebo Hukos Nati Nkosi. I'm part of the Schematist class of 2021. So being part of the Schematist this year has been a really great experience in that we got to learn and yeah, we've been busy. It's been a really, it has been a really like um, productive and busy six months, not six, yeah, six months. And we got to meet really great people and yeah, the contact class is really nice. I think that's one thing we, we, we sure miss now that we're on lockdown and the fact that we're going home. Um, that's one thing we miss and we hope that we, when we return the next time, we, we will be able to go back to contact classes because those are really nice. They're really you know, um, productive. And yeah, man, we learned a lot. Um, how I feel about going back home right now. I feel happy because I'm going home. Ugh, the last time I was home was like, like six months ago. But then I also feel sad. Not really sad, but then, you know, I feel anxious because I don't know what the future holds. What if we won't be able to come back? What if we won't have um, online classes? No. Um, contact classes rather again so and that is that is not what we want you know the contact classes were nice we really worked hard and so yeah that 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 sucks I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this sucks but anyway that sucks um yeah man it has been it has been really great it has been really 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 great hello I'm Albert John Timothy Goliath also known as AJ Rounder um, I live in D19 with Carl and I'm from, well, I'm a part of The Achievers. Uh, my quote was a quote from Peter Parker that says, this is my chance to prove myself. And that message uh, definitely was something that helped me keep going especially with the intention I came for and with the goal I had to better my marks is the best I can do it. Um, try and reach my potential and yeah. But it's been a really tough year for me and I'm just really happy to go home. Yeah. Okay well can't find Mr. Nati. He said he'll be outside after I'm done. <sighs> but he's always late. Not really. Um, yeah, so I might as well just tell you a little bit, a few things. Um, I don't know. I came here thinking that I'm not gonna be, well, that I'm gonna be just this, that kid that's always in his room studying and whatnot. But, like I really wanted to be that person, but then eventually I did make friends, and yeah, made some temporary ones. Then I made a made a few really close friends, and I mean, I like to think I didn't have those genes. I know it's one of a few ladies, but if I didn't have them. Would have made it through the year. Uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of just want to say that about my friends and things to them. Most of them have left now, and uh, now, yeah, I don't know what I actually want to say there. Ish with the He's also one of the biggest great like, people that was involved in my life during this year. Shout out to Mr. Nati. Um, really been helpful. And he's also a good leader, I must say. Um, definitely learned a lot from him. And uh, the environment kind of... It opens up your eyes a little bit more. Because I'm from a small town, and 
Yeah, I've never been to such a big change before. But I don't know, kind of adapted and saw that, yeah. I don't know, this place is really expensive for some reason. Like they say, it's even more expensive than Cape Town. I don't know. It's not even that great, it's just like a town. Yeah, can't do much here. But I should. Um. about it. Uh, thanks for watching.